Okay, here we have Dino, just giving him the, uh, the Pen Squadron 2's pilk rod so I can film it for you and show you Dino in action. This is Dino, the, the hairy bear, the surfing bear. Um, so yeah, so we've got a, um, a Sidewinder Halo 100 gram slow jig on and all we're going to do is you're going to flick it up tight. So tide is coming down this way. So, sorry, that way. Uh, and all we do is flick it up tied so then it sinks and it's level, it's on the bottom when it gets level with the boat. Because if you don't do that, if you drop it straight down, it's basically half a mile from the back of the boat and you're doing it at a weird angle. And then when it comes to the jigging, all we're going to do is a sharp up, like that, and then down. And you don't want any slack line when you're dropping it down. If you have slack line, that's just cue for the fish just to get off and, um, and you know, they, they shake the hook. Um, but every now and then just touch base with the bottom and then start again once it gets a bit farther away from the boat. Um, so when it gets a little bit far away, we're just going to bring it in and then repeat the process. Um, all this is, like I said, it's a brand new rod. I have fished with it first time today, cut the whiting on it, um, which is nice now, nice to christen it. Uh, but it's a Pen Squadron 2 pilk rod and I bought it specifically for the slow jigging. I was umming and ah in about the, um, you know, Dane, flip the, flip the lure in quick. This is, this is the lure, this is what we're fishing with. Um, like I said, Sidewinder, Halo. Um, that's how it fishes. A lot of people fish it wrong and they fish their jigs upside down like that and it's not. The hooks don't go on the bottom with these. They go on the top. So when they're in golf, the, the little assist hooks hook in the mouth. So that's it. And then Dino's now going to perfectly demonstrate how to fish it. All you're going to do, like I said, flick it up tide like that or a bit more. And then the idea is it hits the bottom as it hits the side of the boat. When we're fishing these jigs at anchor, because the tide's obviously still going now to the back of the boat, cast it up tide, so up towards your bow. So by the time it, by the time it gets in front of you, it's, it's straight below the boat, if that makes sense. And all you're going to do is sharp lift up and then a slow lift down, making sure that you keep the line tight. So you don't want any slack line. And all that'll happen is when you, when you get a fish like that, there you go, fish on. And you get a fish like that, you basically lift into it. There you go. Have a little white in. So what I'm going to do is flick the, the lure way up in front of the boat. I know you can't see it, but you have to take my word for it. So the bow of the boat is that way. Flick it up. I'm just going to let the line come off. Feather the line off and try and keep, keep tension with it. Because if a pollock or something picks it up on the way down, you won't know it's got it, it'll just run with it and you'll keep thinking that you're not here at the bottom yet and it'll be 200 meters away from you and by the time by the time it gets to me here level with me it's on the bottom and then you're fishing whereas if you let it straight down by the time the tide takes it it'll be half a mile away down the back of the boat there you go, so that's on the bottom now sharp up slow down There we go. 